Welcome to Uncle Wayne's Car World. This is a little taste of what we do. And uh, we have a seven hour race. And we're hoping to be on the party in the year. Three, three, two, second place. Hello, welcome to the channel. So this first video is going to be a short little video about what we had to remove in order to uh, switch this car over to a non-ABS. And then uh, a little bit about the seat fabrication. There will be a second video after this one that's longer, giving more information about the big brake upgrade. Got the uh, engine tore down a little bit here. Um, starting to work on that. Got some uh, broken studs we got extracted okay. Got the intake off. I uh, got a little plate here for the floor on the driver's side and then all of the uh, tubing was delivered for the roll cage We're getting started on that but the uh, first thing we need to do before we can do the roll cage is get the seat set so Christopher built this seat bracket today very nice job um, that's uh, gonna be on a slider so we'll have seven inches of travel on that so we can get different size drivers in here because we're not sure exactly who's gonna be driving this car so uh, we'll get that all set up and then we'll be able to get it set where the uh, cage is going to be and get started on that so these videos have been uh, <clears throat> one of them was was moved from my Facebook onto the the Lucky Dogs Facebook and some of the Honda guys uh, saw it and got gave me some advice so I was told that this whole uh, ABS system, all that, that there, and all these these cables for the ABS brake system has to come out, and I got to switch this car back to a non-ABS. Um, that that's going to work much better for what we're doing with our. Hello. The second video is going to be about um, the the big brake upgrade, removing the power brake booster, and also a little bit about fabricating the cage. These are things that are not recommended for a street car. You don't want to remove the power brake booster on a street car. The reason we do it on a race car is because one of the problems that amateur drivers in particular have is locking up the brakes. Um, so when we make the brakes less powerful um, with the power brake booster, it's easier to modulate and we don't flat spot the tires and have problems with locking up the wheels. It it's just makes it a much more user friendly car. So uh, I'll also put all the information about the big brake upgrade in the description if you want to uh, see what parts we used. Thanks for watching. Good afternoon, uh, motorsports fans. You're looking at uh, my 66 Porsche 912 that me and my son Christopher uh, have been restoring over the last six years. But what I really wanted to talk about today was the uh, the old Integra project. I haven't done a video on it in a while, but we've been doing a lot of work on the car. Uh, there's my M3 that's uh, sort of got pushed to the back of the pile because of the Integra. But this car, uh, tracked quite a bit um, engines apart uh, we'll get back on this as soon as this Integra is done so here's where we're at uh, with the Integra so uh, here's the motor it is ready to go back in the car uh, transmission so I got a couple guys coming tonight although we haven't been able to meet and work like we we're hoping, um, I started having one guy come and help me every Tuesday night, and then this tonight we're gonna have two. We're working different ends of the car. Some guys working outside, you know, we're able to kind of spread out and we've been wearing masks. So just trying to stay safe and try to keep this going and everybody's kind of bored and wants to, wants to do something. So um, tonight we're gonna marry the transmission to the motor, get the motor up on the stand, up on the workbench, and hopefully get it mounted in the car. Uh, just clean the engine bay uh, It's looking really good. We got rid of all the ABS It's been completely deleted um, We deleted the power steering also put the loop there on the power steering uh, went with the uh, Also eliminated the, po uh, the power brake booster and was able to buy that and this kit that comes with the lines uh, to um, You have to change the proportioning valve out to a non ABS which me and Christopher went and dug out of the junkyard at Pena's uh, junkyard, which is always an adventure to go there. It's uh, better than Disneyland. 
except uh, the danger is real, not 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 fake. Uh, some of the some of the people running around that place are a little scary. So engine bay is looking nice and clean. Um, we did end up we did oops we did end up with the the big brake kit on the four lug using um, the R type calipers, the uh, Cooper Mini rotor on the front, the uh, Civic SI rotor on the rear, and then uh, TSX pads all the way around because it was the combination that worked great, bolted right on. Probably should have went that route from the beginning rather than trying to do the five lug conversion. So the cage is uh, just about complete. Uh, the only thing left to do are the bar doors uh, on the driver's side. It's gonna do NASCAR bars and then just some bracing and gusseting here and there. But uh, it's looking really good. Christopher did a nice job on that. Um, got the wheels, tires on, got the hand cooks on there. Uh, just going with the stock steel wheels for now. Um, the wheels I wanted were on back order. And also with this uh, having to kind of shut down and <clears throat> really cramp the budget on this thing. So I didn't want to spend money on wheels right at the moment. But uh, this is where we're at. I think we should have the car running shortly. I was hoping to take it to Thunder Hill with, uh, and test it on the 12th of June. However, the race came up. Uh, Lucky Dog's back racing again. I think we're going to take the 332 car down to Willow Springs on the 15th. So that probably puts a cramp on my plan to go. I don't think I'll be able to do both. So I hope everybody's doing well out there. Hope you're all staying healthy. And... Uh, Thanks for watching.